Yeah, they're flying. This is gonna be that's a good. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. As you can see, we're putting decoys together because it's dove season. And uh, dove season's been going on for, you know, a couple weeks now, but uh, we just got a cold front. And now before you northerners come up to me and be like, oh, you don't know what a cold front is. Sorry, I think I see birds. <laughs> um, we're in a cold front in Texas, which means we're no longer in like the hundreds. It's 64. 63 this morning which hopefully will get the birds moving and flying and we can get on them and uh and take some home we got cash with us he's probably somewhere around here running around i let him kind of get situated when we first get here and then uh and then we get after it so Yeah, they're flying. This is gonna be, that's a good sign. We just had two fly over Justin as he was setting the rest of the decoy. It's gonna be a great morning. Like, that was awesome. <clears throat> Let me go grab my shitty coffee that I grabbed at the gas station because I forgot to make coffee at home. So I stopped and got some diesel and some coffee. But now I'm gonna grab, a, I'm gonna close the truck up, grab my shotgun and load up because birds are moving. This is what, like, this is the earliest we've seen them move since we've been out here. This has been great. All right, let's get uh, let's get my shotgun. We're gonna, I'm gonna bring out the uh, Beretta uh, A400 that I got that you guys saw in the last video. Um, Cause I mean, that's what we got it for. We got it for dove and duck hunting. So, haha, -ha. let's get after it. Motherfucker! He was flying fast, dude. I couldn't even aim at him. Cash! Atta boy, Cash! Here! Here! Drop, drop, good boy. So, Justin uh, was putting out a duff call and all of a sudden we get two birds. I shot one, he shot the other and uh, both went down. So, you know, before the shots you guys saw, those were practice shots, right? That was a practice shot. And now this is the real deal and we got two on the ground so far. And Cash uh, saw the initial one went and got it and since the sun's right in our face Justin and I didn't see where the other one went so I just sent him and he found it I mean he's got he's got a great nose Fuck. I have the safe on motherfucker <laughs> I never have the safe on dude never oh shit the other one okay, nice. neither did I attaboy cash the other one, the other one, they, they came straight into the decoys, yeah. like really low. I wasn't ready. But that sun is just here. Come on, here. The other one's still down too. Yeah. Come on, here. Yeah. Here. Here. Morning, Doug. Sit. Sit. Drop. 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 Dude, that was fucking huge. What the <laughs> fuck? That was like a hundred of them. And none went down. <laughs> well, I've missed a lot. <laughs> it kind of slowed down a little bit, but it, it'll pick up here again pretty soon. Uh, 
uh, there's there was one that you guys probably saw this bird was coming straight at me and uh, I had reloaded and I forgot that I put my shotgun on safe and I was doing something and when I went to go and pull the trigger I was like ah and it just flew right by me it was such a fucking softball uh, toss that I could have freaking hammered it and got it on film so good but of course of course it, I didn't because you know we're filming <laughs> But we got a few doves in the bucket to the left. Oh, I see them. Uh, we got a few doves in the bucket right now. Um, hopefully we can get some more so that we can do an episode sometime next week on, you know, cooking doves at the house and the uh, smoker and, um, and showing you guys how I like to cook them. You know, and if you've probably done it the same way, but there's been a couple of different ways that we've done them at home. Obviously, you know, we do the jalapeno, cream cheese, and bacon ones, but we've also done, uh, my wife's also done, uh, done them in empanadas. So there's a couple of different, what are you eating over there, But I don't know what he's chewing on. Um, but we've done them in empanadas and then we've done them in rice. So we're like, you, you cook the rice and then you put the, the whole duck breast in there and it cooks like that so we'll do a couple different recipes for you guys uh on the next episode if that's something you guys are interested please let us know and then uh we'll probably do a little bit of more dove hunting this season and then we are going to head down to south texas and do a very special hunt this year uh my buddy ian my buddy josh down in uh poor mansfield you guys probably saw the video last year of of us when we went duck hunting. And if you haven't seen it, we'll put it down below uh, or on the little banner so you can click it and go watch it. But we did a hunt last year with uh, Purple Heart veterans down in Poor Mansfield. And if you didn't know this, uh, Texas, uh, what is it, wildlife, parks and wildlife? What is it, the Texas wildlife or what is it? Parks and wildlife, yeah. Yeah, Texas Park and Wildlife uh, came out with uh, a pretty cool concept. So. October 25th through the 27th is typically youth hunt. Yeah, they're high though. Ah, good shot. <laughs> uh, it's a youth hunt. And so what, uh, what they did is that they decided to make it a youth hunt and for veterans. So this year, or it was last year is when it started. So now you're able to hunt on youth weekend. If you're a veteran, you can go out and hunt and so my buddies down there who, who guide all the freaking time, and that's all they do in Port Mansfield is they guide for ducks and they do a lot of fishing. They were kind enough to get with me and we kind of came up with a plan. So we're gonna be doing a duck hunt with eight Purple Heart recipients and, uh, and we're gonna do a cast and blast. So we're gonna go shoot some ducks and then go fish. Uh, and then we'll do some recipes as well with cooking uh, duck and whatnot. But, if that's something you guys want to see on the channel, you want to see recipes and whatnot, please let us know and, and we'll make it happen. But hopefully it'll start picking back up here soon so we can put some more doves in the ground and uh, I can have some poppers this weekend while we watch some football. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Here. All right, so we took a break because it's starting to get a little hot. Uh, we finished the morning off. It was pretty decent. It wasn't too bad. Uh, we did knock down a few birds, but uh, we're back in the evening. We're hopefully, uh, we'll see them a lot more right now. Um, we're typically seeing them flying a lot more in the evening. So that's what we're hoping for. And maybe we can uh, tag out and, uh, and bring them home and make some poppers because uh, that's what we're chasing. But. Hopefully it's not too hot and they start flying here soon and we can get after it because I do not plan on being here if it's going to be too hot. Like I will call it, a, I'll call it quits very fast. But thankfully we do have a nice breeze like rolling through. Uh, we got a little bit of shade right here and uh, you know, now we wait and hopefully, you know, they start flying. If not, then we're just going to, you know, maybe put the shotguns down and drink some beers because <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. So we'll see. Hopefully we can knock them out and, and be done early and, you know, make our way home and, I don't know, go enjoy the, the rest of the day. No bird. Here. Here. Drop. Cash. Good boy. 
Hunt him up. Atta boy, Cash. Good boy. Go get and redeem yourself. Come on. It's a combination of things. You know, you got decoys, you got calls. What else can we do? Should we start dancing in the rain too? <laughs> so we shot a bird way over there. We kind of saw it land here. And um, I, I guess I shouldn't have doubted him. So I came in to kind of help him out and kind of show him where it was at. But all I could see is feathers on the top. I didn't know where it was at. And he just literally went across the fence. And I'm like, what is he doing over there? And sure enough, he bumped it up, grabbed it. It's still kind of alive, but this dude has an amazing nose. And I'm not just saying that because it's my dog and you know, I'm trying to hype him up, but he definitely has a nose and this dude is meant for this. Like, yeah, I gotta trust him more. That's what I'm trying to get at. Well, he's, hey, he's out there. Cash! Up ahead. Well, Cash has his uh, paws um, full, I guess. Uh, there was like, I don't know, how many was that? Just like four or five? The, like six that came in and we hammered about five of them. They're all coming to those decoys. Like, I'm telling you, people don't believe in those uh, freaking Mojo decoys. We do. They were on it. I mean, they came in straight at them and we were able to like hammer on them, so. We're trying to find another one that was down here pretty deep. And hopefully we'll see the cash and find it. Hi, right there. No, don't break his neck. I, I tried not to break his neck. I just tried to, I tried to break it and it fell off. Gosh. Good boy. All right, guys. So that is it. Um, we ended up hammering like 15, I think. 11. What do you think, Justin? Like 11, 15? Uh, some, somewhere, right somewhere around there. Um, Cash did phenomenal. Like the dude was on it. Um, when we first got here, he kind of... He broke and he took off and I was like, come on, we corrected him. And then after that, he was awesome. But that was such a cool day. We hadn't done an evening hunt out here. We all we've been doing is mornings. And so we decided to switch it up. And man, those freaking Mojo decoys, they're phenomenal. I mean, those birds were flying in. And then I don't know if those calls that we were using help or not. Justin and I were kind of talking about that, but I mean, birds were coming in when we were using it. So. It was such a good time, and honestly, uh, if you look right behind me, you cannot beat this Texas beautiful sunset. Like, this is what dove hunting is down here in Texas. You got the beautiful sunset, the weather's perfect, birds are flying, you're having fun, and, and that's what it's about, man. That's why I love the outdoors. I like to get out here, you clear your mind. And dove hunting is such a cool, um, dove hunting and duck hunting for me are very social, because you can talk in between you don't necessarily have to be quiet and the blind and, and whatnot. You can sit out here, you can pour your heart out to your friends while you're dove hunting, or you know, you can talk about all the amazing things that you got going on in your life. Um, and it's just such a very social thing. And so I love that. I love the outdoors. And uh, guys, we're on, uh, I believe this is uh, Mental Health Month and Suicide Prevention Month. So if you're struggling with anything, if you're having a hard time, please reach out to somebody. You matter, we care. We rather hear your stories than go to your funeral. So seriously, if you're having any problems, any issues, anything that's going on in your life, guys, please reach out to somebody, please. Like we love you, you matter. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you're new to the channel, do me a flavor, a flavor, a flavor. I'm already thinking of what I'm gonna cook the dub with. <laughs> do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, drop us a comment, it helps the channel a lot. And for those of you that have been watching for a while, thank you so much. You guys mean the world to me. Uh, that's all I got. We're gonna clean these birds, and by we I mean Justin, because I got a couple cuts in my hands, and I don't wanna, 
get some of that blood in me and whatnot. But thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. I love you. Until then, crispy on. What do you do when you're not at the range? I love rubbing and touching my meat. Tell me a sound that's better than this.